CataractCoach.com. Cataract surgery lessons from Kyoto, Japan. I was there recently for some business development, also to learn about how surgeons there operate, and to give a lecture at a well-known university. And I want to bring back some of those lessons to you. I think number one for me was perfecting a skill takes time. Nothing's built overnight. So when you see these beautiful structures here in Kyoto, these were built over the course of hundreds of years. So for cataract surgery skills, be patient, but more importantly, be persistent. Put in the effort every week to always get better and better. And so that persistence is what's going to help you truly perfect your skill. And that takes time, usually years. You can't be an amazing cataract surgeon if you've done less than a thousand cases. Number two is constant improvement. Always trying to get better. The concept of Kaizen. Every day that you operate, what can you learn from this case to become better and better? You have to keep advancing your skills. Remember, if you just become 1% better a week, in less than two years, you are twice as good as you are today. So it's that drive and determination, that passion, to make sure that you are always constantly improving your skills. Video your surgeries. Watch the footage. Say, what can I do better? Number three, people are more similar than different. I could have showed you a surgery video of some cataract surgeons I witnessed there in, in Kyoto, but they operate very similar to we do. It's almost the same. And I think overall, worldwide, people are more similar than they are different. And that applies to people as well as their cataract surgery skills and the way they approach things. There's a commonness to humankind, and I think that's very special. So people certainly more similar than different. There is beauty in imperfection, the concept of wabi-sabi. Now, we're used to seeing things that are perfectly symmetric and it's very pleasing to the eye, but slight imperfection actually has a beauty as well. So these are all perfectly lined up and they're still quite beautiful. Same applies to our surgeries. We're not machines. When you make that capsorexis or that incision, it's not always going to be exactly perfect. And that's okay. The patients can still have a beautiful visual outcome with no effect on their vision. But we have to accept that there is variability. Number five, inner peace is really required for best performance. If you're stressed out, you have a lot on your mind, you're not able to perform your best in the operating room. So it's important that you achieve that inner peace. Sometimes you can't resolve certain issues. So you either have to accept them, compartmentalize them, whatever it takes to achieve enough inner peace for you to perform at your best in the operating room. And that means, of course, giving patients the best visual outcome. They get the best results when you have that peace. Number six, there's a finite lifespan for all. There's impermanence. When I saw these beautiful fall colors towards the end of my trip, they started to change and the leaves started to wither away. And this is kind of the nature of everything in life. There's a finite lifespan for all, including us and including our surgical careers. So do an incredible job, make a huge impact, and leave a legacy that will live on, knowing that your career actually does have an end date, and so does life. So the trip for me to Japan was absolutely amazing. I had such great lessons. We'll show you some of the videos of surgeries in the very near future. But I want you to take these lessons and use that as a great start to 2020. And I want to wish you a successful, prosperous, and happy new year. Welcome 2020.